After watching this video, you're gonna have absolutely no excuse for why you're not getting the views or subscribers that you want to on YouTube right now because you're gonna know exactly how the YouTube Shorts algorithm works for 2024. In fact, this creator just implemented the tips I'm about to share with you and literally gained over 600,000 subscribers and they're over the age of 50, which I bet you're not, so what excuse do you have? And this creator did the same thing except they gained over a million subscribers and they don't even speak English, which you do, which is why you're watching this video. So again, what excuse do you have? The four hacks I'm gonna share with you are gonna completely change the amount of views and the amount of subscribers that you're getting on YouTube in 2024 so long as you don't skip any of them. By the way, the last one is by far the most important. Hack number one is the show me the proof method because here's the deal. The YouTube algorithm isn't going to push out your content if there's no proof that you should have actually created that content in the first place. And I bet that what you're doing right now is coming up with an idea, creating that piece of content, and then adding a title and description to it. And guess what? This is the complete wrong way that you should be creating content. Instead, you should be doing this which is that you need to actually go through and prove to yourself why you should create the piece of content. For example, if we look at this channel right now, they're getting a very inconsistent amount of views. Sometimes they get 10,000 views, sometimes they get 400, and sometimes they get 4,000 views. And I'm gonna to prove to you exactly why this happens. For example, if we look at this video right here, they had an idea about a butterfly and they had an idea for a title, a chili butterfly. But if they simply would have proved to themselves whether or not they should or should not create that piece of content beforehand by typing the title into YouTube, they would have determined this is a horrible content idea and that's why it got 400 views. So if they type this in, guess what shows up? A bunch of stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with the piece of content they created. Now let's contrast this with this video right here, which is about slow snacks for a grass mantis. If we go and look that title up, what comes up? A bunch of other videos that actually look very similar to the video that they actually created. And this is the reason that their video got views or didn't get views. So essentially what you're trying to do here is actually prove to yourself before you go and create a piece of content that it's worth your time to invest your time creating that piece of content. Because if you don't see other posts that look like the piece of content you're about to create, well guess what? YouTube probably isn't gonna push out your content and then as a result, you're gonna be watching videos like this and wondering why the YouTube algorithm hates you. And by the way, it's totally normal and fine to throw out a bunch of content ideas that you come up with. In fact, on the screen right now, I'm scrolling through a bunch of content ideas that I had for 2023 that I never created a piece of content on simply because I couldn't prove that they'd work. But that's not the only test that your content needs to pass. It also needs to pass the HTV test. And no, I'm not talking about HPV, the STD. I'm talking about HTV, which is gonna determine whether or not the first three seconds of your video are actually good enough for your content to get pushed out. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free YouTube growth course. So you can get it the pinned comment below. It's gonna tell you things like the best time to post for 2024 and the best hashtags to use because unfortunately we're not gonna have time to cover those things in this video so what are you waiting for go to that pin comment below and register right now it's literally 100 free so when it comes to the htv method here's exactly what each one of those letters stand for the first one h is going to stand for hook now essentially you need something flashing on the screen or you need a good camera angle that is actually going to incentivize the viewer to stop what they're doing and watch the rest of your content the t stands for text you need to make sure that this text on your screen in in fact, if you scroll through your shorts feed right now, I bet you that 99% of videos that you see actually follow the HTV method. And then the last one, V, stands for voiceover. If you don't have all three of those things, and by the way, a voiceover could be replaced by music that actually does a good job of incentivizing the person to continue watching. For example, a huge popping sound or something along the lines of that that actually hooked the viewer in. But if your content doesn't have H, T or V in it, that's going to be the reason that you fail to get views. And remember, you could have checked these things before you even went and uploaded your content. Now let's scroll through the shorts feed real quick and see whether or not all these videos actually have this. Okay, so if I just randomly come over to the shorts feed right now, my boom. Immediately, he's got text on the screen. It's a camera angle. You could see his eyes that actually are lined up here. That is going to hook people in. In addition to that, there is a voiceover. So post number one hits all these check marks right here again. Camera angle, see where his eyes line up? The same exact position. This is the angle that gets the most people's attention. And on top of that, there's a voiceover, which I have muted right now. And there's also text on the screen here. Now let's come to the next post. Boom, literally the same exact thing. I cannot emphasize this enough. The right camera angle, 
text on the screen, and a voiceover. We're going to do one more, again, just to prove to you that this literally happens for 99% of posts. So if your posts don't have this, and I know, you're not in the same niche as these people, but the same thing applies to your niche, and boom, the same exact thing immediately. There's somebody pointing at you. There's an emoji up here. There's text on the screen. There's two things going on, and all of these things account for that HTV hook, which allows these individuals to get views, and it's exactly why you're not getting views. Or you could be posting content that's the wrong length or messing up the last thing that I share with you, which is by far the most important piece here. Because if you're not implementing these last two steps, it's going to be the reason that you're failing to grow on YouTube right now. And these are literally the two easiest things that you could ever possibly change about your content, but they're gonna get you so much upside, so many views. And on top of that, they're gonna help you save time because I bet that you're probably creating content on YouTube shorts right now that's too long. So when it comes to the actual lengths that you should be posting in, there are three best lengths to be posting in right now, and I would only post content that hits these three metrics. The first one is gonna be eight to 15 seconds. The second is gonna be 31 to 35 seconds, and then finally, 55 to 60 seconds. Now, I do wanna warn you, those first two that I told you account for the majority of viral posts on YouTube. Most creators right now create content that's way too short, create content that's in the middle of one of those, or create content that is just way too long, and this is the reason that your audience isn't sticking around, you're not getting the metrics that you need in terms of audience retention, and then boom, as a result, YouTube doesn't want to push out your content. Now, before we get into the last and most important step that you need to make sure that you're implementing right now, I do want to do a quick recap. The first thing you need to make sure that you're doing is actually figuring out whether or not YouTube is going to push out your content by determining whether or not people have made content like that before in the past. The second thing you're focused on is capturing the viewer's attention in the first three seconds, because if you don't do that through the HTV method, guess what ends up happening? Viewers are gonna swipe away and then YouTube isn't going to push out your content. And third, you're creating content that's actually in the right length. If you could do those three things right, then you only have to implement this last step and it's going to skyrocket the amount of reach that you're getting right now on YouTube. And that is that you need to make sure that you're actually getting better with every single post that you upload on YouTube. Now I know what you're thinking, Rob, obviously I'm trying to get better, but you're probably not trying to get better because if you're not measuring three different things, it's going to be the reason that you're failing to grow. The first one is, did I choose the best topic possible? Most creators just come up with one idea, they go and do a search for it, they prove out that they can do that, and then boom, they go and create that piece of content. But what would be even better is if you had three or four ideas and then chose from those. The second thing is you need to to make sure that you're actually hitting the swipe rate that YouTube wants you to hit. You need at least 80% of people choosing to view your content as opposed to swiping through your content, and this is gonna result in YouTube pushing your content more on the shorts feed, and then finally, you need to pay attention to that average view duration. Essentially, if your video is less than 30 seconds long, you need 100% average view duration. If your video is more than 31 seconds long, you need 80% average view duration at least. So if you're able to hit those three things, then there's absolutely no reason that you're not gonna views on YouTube right now. And since you're so serious about growing on YouTube in 2024, I personally want to help you. In fact, I want to look at your account and tell you exactly what you need to do differently, specific to your niche, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing 
nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.